Hey everybody, uh, this is Mr. Lee, I'm your math teacher for uh, Math 152, uh, A session, uh, Math 152, Section 840AR, uh, which is Statistical Methods 1. So uh, this video, I'm going to try to keep it to 10 minutes, but I want to go over the syllabus with you and go over Blackboard with you. Uh, this is really going to focus on uh, the policies and procedures for the class um, so you can really focus in on uh, the course content. So um, before we dive in, I do want to point out that yes, this is the middle of a pandemic. Uh, we are in the middle of a, a pretty scary uh, surge right now, um, but your academic future is a uh, really important to me, really important to the college. Uh, you reaching your academic goals is really important. And I'm here as a support. The college is here as a support. Um, and we want to see you be successful. I'm willing to work with you. I want to see you be successful. Um, we're going to have to be flexible this session. Uh, I'm hoping because this is asynchronous, uh, you won't have as many uh, interruptions as uh, some of my seated classes potentially will. Um, but I'm here as a resource. I'm here to support you. Um, but let's dive into policies and procedures a little bit. So um, I like to put stars on the uh, courses that I'm teaching. So we are Math 152, 840AR, uh, A's for A session, uh, 2022 spring. Um, when you log into Blackboard, you should automatically land on the coursework uh, page. This is where you're going to spend the vast majority of your time. Uh, mine looks a little different because uh, I'm an instructor, but it looks something like this. There's a Start Here tab. This video will be under the Start Here tab. Um, there's also a link to the syllabus under the Start Here tab. Uh, a video I made a few years ago, but I still think it's relevant on success in online math classes, and I stuck some calculator help stuff. Um, calculator is important in this class, it makes your life a little bit easier. Uh, there's a spot for announcements. I'm going to send this video right here out an announcement once I finish making it. Um, you can click either spot here for syllabus. Um, under the syllabus and the syllabus page, there's the Universal Course Policies and Procedures link. Um, and then here is the document that you would find right here, our course specific uh, syllabus. So uh, my name is Grady Lee Wilson Withers. I go by Mr. Lee. So you can call me Mr. Lee in emails. That's fine. Um, the easiest way to get in touch with me is via email. Um, I work really hard to respond quickly. Uh, I'm, I'm able to respond to a lot of students' emails in under an hour, um, but I, I'll respond to you within 24 hours. I'll respond to you within a day, but I, I work hard to respond to you uh, much quicker than that. Um, my office number is listed here. Um, because of the pandemic, because of the surge, I don't know how often I will be in my office, so that is not a very reliable way. But if you email me, uh, I can we can work out a time to chat on the phone, if that's what you want to do, a time to video conference, even a time to meet outside somewhere in a safe, safe place. So uh, I'm here to help you. Just let me know. Uh, my student hours this uh, school year, this session, are scheduled from 11.30 to 12.30, but um, they're restricting how often faculty members are on campus right now. Um, so I might be on the road during part of that time if I have to leave campus. This is after my teach my morning classes. Um, so, but please reach out to me. We'll work something out if you want to meet up. Uh, contact information for my supervisor is here. This is an asynchronous course. Some good information on asynchronous courses here. The course entry assignment. I'd encourage you to go ahead and knock it out Monday or Tuesday. But if, it, if I don't have it by Thursday, the system is going to remove you from this class. I'm going to talk about the course entry assignment. It's like a five-minute thing. It's something you have to do for auditing purposes. Um, actually, let's go ahead and talk about it right now. So course entry assignment, I put it on the pacing guide for you to complete it either uh, today or tomorrow. That way you don't have any issues 
getting ac accidentally withdrawn from the course. Um, you can find the course entry assignment right here. It's a little discussion post. You can click on the header here and then click on create thread. Here is the prompt. This is the only discussion post you have to do this semester. You can also find this by going to discussion board down here and finding it right here. You don't have to respond to any of your classmates. It's the only discussion board of the semester. I have to have you do it, so go knock it out now or you will get automatically dropped. It's just an auditing purposes thing, but you got to do it. Okay, course entry assignment is, com is important. Go knock it out. Uh, the last day you can withdraw is uh, February 10th. Um, there is no textbook for you to purchase in this course. Um, every all, all of the course materials are can be accessed through Blackboard. Uh, we use a platform called MyOpenMath, but MyOpenMath is integrated with Blackboard and it's single logon. You do need a calculator. This class is probably more important than others. I've already taken my camera down. But I would really encourage you to pick up a TI-83 calculator. Uh, TI-83 Plus, something in that family. TI-83, TI-83 Plus. Uh, there's a bunch of variations on the 83 Plus, like the II and other ones. TI-84 is great. But there is a lot of stats functions. There's a list of them right there that we will be using, and it will make your life a lot easier if you have the calculator. Um, the first few weeks, we're not you first few weeks. Um, this week and next week, we're not really going to be using the uh, advanced functions on the calculator. But when we get into the normal distribution, binomial distribution, confidence intervals, hypothesis testing, it makes your life a lot easier to have the calculator. That's how it's going to be shown in the videos, so please pick one up. Um, the cheapest place to pick them up in Winston-Salem would be in a pawn shop. Um, McKay's Bookstore carries them. I've seen them in McKay's Bookstore for $40. Uh, you can buy them at the school bookstore. You can use your financial aid funds. You really need the calculator. It's going to make your life a lot easier. Uh, the prereq is uh, listed as Math 003. If you're in the course, you've met the prereq. Uh, many of you are in the co-rec class. The co-rec class is a good thing. I just want to emphasize, if you drop the co-rec or you are withdrawn from the co-rec, I have to withdraw you. So please do what you need to do to keep up with the co-rec. Uh, course description is provided here. Learning outcomes, I will make sure we meet these. Forsyth Tech uses a 10-point grading scale. Let's get into um, how your grade is going to be calculated in this course. And um, I think that line is wrong, but I'm going to have to jump between right here and then if we scroll down. You know what? Let's actually come back to this right here. Let's look down here. Uh, late work. Um, it, this is a, a seven and a half week class. This is an accelerated course. So if you get a few assignments behind, you're going to find yourself in a spot where there's just not enough minutes for you to catch up. Um, I don't want to see that happen to you. Um, so it's, it's really important you stay up, uh, you stay on track with the material. Um, I w can work with you. I will work with you. If you have extenuating circumstances, please keep me in the loop. If you're having issues at home with your internet connection, child care, housing security, uh, if you're sick, if you're in the hospital, keep me in the loop. The more you keep me in the loop, the more I can do to work with you. The less I know about, the, the more that puts you in a bad spot. So please keep me in the loop. And I, I, I want to work with you on due dates, but I also know that there's that there's a there's a spot where there's just not enough minutes left in the session for you to possibly catch up. And I don't want to see any of you end up in that spot. Uh, extra credit, 
there's, there's not going to be any extra credit in the class. Um, attendance. Um, as long as you are keeping up with the course material, I want to leave you in the class. But if you're not keeping up with the course, it's in your best interest to withdraw. If you miss four assignments, I can withdraw you from the course. So if you've missed four assignments and you are not keeping up with the course, I'm going to withdraw you. Um, there's this awesome thing here now about your mental, physical, and emotional health. Um, and then there's a statement that tells you to look at the policies and procedures, which you can find right here. Okay. Um, the last page of the syllabus, page five, is the pacing guide. I really encourage you to print this page. I print this page for all of my seated classes um, and put it in a prominent spot. Maybe that's your refrigerator, pin it to the wall, uh, tape it on your nightstand, laminate it, just put it in a prominent spot. Um, we have assignments due basically every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday night. It's an accelerated course. Um, we're covering basically two topics each week. You have a test every other Saturday. So there are four tests, I say every other Saturday. The semester ends on a Wednesday, and so that last test is due Wednesday night. Uh, we cover roughly two topics each week. The way it works is, uh, I'll look right here at this third week, because with uh, MLK Day, it gets off a little bit the first two weeks. But you have a homework assignment due on a topic, the first night, and then you have a lab assignment due on the topic the second night. Um, the homework assignment, uh, I'll show you in a minute. You get unlimited attempts, and I think actually I would like to give you unlimited attempts, but the system, the MyOpenMath uh, software only lets me give you 100 attempts. Um, if you in good faith, burn through a hundred attempts, reach out to me and we'll work something out. But that has never happened. It's actually very, very rare for a student to use more than 10 attempts. Um, but uh, you get a hundred attempts on a, each question. You can burn through attempts. There's no penalty for homework assignments. The lab assignment, you get a single attempt. Uh, also, some of the lab assignments uh, ask you to show your work. So you'll have to like handwrite your work, take a picture of it. You can take a picture of it with your phone, with a webcam, and then attach it to the lab. So you'll have a homework assignment where you get unlimited attempts on the questions, a lab assignment where you only get one attempt, homework assignment, unlimited attempts, lab assignment, only one attempt. Every two weeks you have a test that's due Saturday night. The exams are not cumulative. So test two covers the content that we've talked about since test one. So test two would be on binomial distribution, uniform distribution, normal distribution, very iconic topic for the course, and the central limit theorem. Similarly, your test four is going to be on hypothesis testing for paired means, independence means, and linear regression and correlation. Um, let's make sure I've highlighted what I wanted, I wanted to highlight with that. Uh, exams are worth 8% each. Homework, remember you get unlimited attempts on each question. Homework is the biggest portion of your grade. I've been teaching for over a decade. Your homework grade is the strongest indicator of how you do in the class, which means students that take the time to attempt and reattempt questions uh, and put forth really strong homework grades always do well in the course. Students that don't put forth good homework grades really struggle. Uh, then labs are worth 28%. Um, I think that is everything. Yeah, and I will grade. There, there's a if, if a portion of a lab has to be graded by me, 
when you submit it, it won't be graded. Like if you have to attach your work, and I'll show you an example in a minute, um, the computer cannot grade your work. I have to do that. The computer can't tell whether you your, your work looks good or not. Um, so I will sit down after the lab is due and grade those manually for you. So there's a little bit, it won't, the, the grade won't show right in the grade center until I grade that portion. Okay. I think that's everything. I'm going to minimize this and not close it just in case I think of something. Announcements we talked about. Start here. We talked about syllabus. We talked about course entry assignment. We talked about, we'll t look at coursework. This is where you'll spend the vast majority of your time. Um, instructor contact is here. This info is also in the syllabus. Email me. We'll work something out. Uh, campus resources. Uh, this is an asynchronous Math 152. A lot of students in this class need extra support to be successful. We offer free tutoring. Uh, typically, students that regularly attend tutoring uh, score a letter grade better in the course. Some, uh, a good number of you, a lot of you, are going to need to attend tutoring to be successful in this class. Um, and the Learning Center is offering uh, synchronous tutoring. You can attend from the comfort of your bedroom, um, and I can help you get that set up. Uh, there's also a link here for uh, student academic uh, services. Um, I have a Zoom meeting here. If we want to meet virtually, we can use this. This class does not meet regularly, though. But if you, this is just this tab is here in case some of you want to meet with me one on one. Uh, course tools are here, discussion board, um, you'll never need this tab. The only discussion board is course entry assignment. And then my grades is helpful, lets you know where you stand in the course. Um, now this weird quirk, and I wish I could make the people at Blackboard fix this, is that the due dates that are printed here um, are not always right and I have no way of changing them, so I would be cautious about going off of them. I would use the pacing guide. Now looking over it, I don't see any issues. I also didn't stress this. If there's a topic here, like you know this homework on probability that's due Wednesday 11-19, that is 11.55 p.m. on Wednesday you know, the 19th. Okay. Uh, then there's some links for uh, ITS support and Blackboard tutorials. Um, if you're having tech issues, this is a great place to go. Uh, then the stuff down here I have because I'm an instructor. Um, so coursework is where you're going to spend the most of your time. You have the pacing guide here. And this should match the dates you're seeing here. So here it says homework describing data due Thursday 113. Here it says homework describing data due Thursday 113. We'll just use this as our example. Up here you're able to select, you can hop around from question to question. Um, for the sake of me showing you, let's look at something super easy. Okay, let me make sure. Okay, uh, so this question, uh, problem six here, let's purposely get it wrong. So let's say that there were zero students that earned A's. That's not true. So I get it wrong. I can click right here to a similar question button. Let's get it wrong a few times. Still not zero. A few more times. Okay, I just burned through five attempts. You see this number over here now says that I have 95 attempts left instead of 99. Again, the software only lets you do 100 attempts, but if you in good faith burn through all 100, reach out to me. It's never happened before. I don't expect it to happen this session. Um, I very rarely have students that burn through uh, 10. Um, this question, the answer should be 10, 
So let's answer this question correctly. Oops, hang on. I uh, did something wrong. I'm talking to y'all. Uh, yeah, I did something wrong. Okay, let's try this again. Um, okay, so 30% of 30 students. So let's say nine. Okay, good. Um, I uh, just got this question correct. See, I get a, a check, green check by the problem number. So when you do this homework, you want to see a bunch of green checks when you're done. And you see right here it says one of one points. There is no penalty for burning through attempts. If it takes you one attempt or if it takes you ten attempts, once you get the question correct, you get full credit. So there's, there's no harm in trying. Um, what I encourage students to do is to sit down early, a little bit early, work through the homework assignment, knock out what you know how to do, take note of the questions you don't know how to do, and then reach out for extra support. Um, if it's just a question or two, you can email me. If it's more than two or three questions, sign up for a tutoring session that afternoon and get some one-on-one -on -one help. Some deeper help that, than I'm able to provide because I got like 100 students this semester. Okay. Uh, this is a homework assignment. Let's take a look at a lab. And we'll do this. The labs show you all of the questions at once and I think I want to look at a different one. So let's try this lab. Okay, here the last question says on a clean sheet of paper, write out a clear step-by-step -step work for your last question. Uh, now here you're working with a box plot, so this isn't particularly hard, just draw some arrows. But you would need to attach the file. This is where I get to see your thinking. Um, it's, it is a department policy that uh, students need to show work on labs. Um, I don't make you show work on the whole lab, but you do need to show work on parts of it. Um, and so I will grade this after the uh, lab is due, and I'm going to make every effort to grade it within 24 hours. Uh, you would answer this lab, and then hit the Submit and End button to submit and end it. The other thing I want to take a look at Maybe this is a bit of a spoiler alert, but let's look at the first test. Um, tests are 14 questions. They have a two hour time limit. Remember, they are not cumulative. This says spring break. I need to remove that. I don't know why that block is there. Okay. So um, it gives you all those warnings. Start. As you work through the test, there is a timer in the upper right corner. You would work through all the questions and then hit the submit and end button at the bottom. Okay, I think that's all the policy and procedure stuff. Um, I think that's everything you need to know to really dive in and focus on the course content. Wow, I was really trying to keep this to below 20 minutes. I did not succeed. I'm very sorry about that. Um, but please reach out if you have any questions. Um, I'm here to help.